Hey everyone, it is Chris and I wanted to create a quick getting started video for lab members. Um, you have now access to thousands of highly engaging lessons for your students, but it might feel a little overwhelming the first time you poke around in the lab. This video is gonna help explain where you need to be, how you need to get there, and what to see and do when you do get there. And after you watch this video, you're definitely gonna have a better understanding of how to find the resources you need quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. You will first log into lessons.kesslerscience.com and in the top right-hand corner, you're gonna see a little login. I'm already logged in here, but uh, if I was not, it would have a sign in button here. I'd click sign in. And then it is going to bring you to your dashboard. Now the dashboard is your happy place. This is where you have access to everything on the site. And so what you're gonna see on the dashboard is there's gonna be uh, my courses are gonna be listed here. And a course is just a bundle of lessons or activities. So you have access to everything on the site. If you ever get to a spot where you feel like um, you're being asked to pay for something, then you are in the wrong area as a lab member. If I were to click on these um, headers up here, it's gonna take me to the products that you can actually purchase. So they are all going to be already listed, however, in your courses. So if you ever get to a point where you're like, wait a second, it's asking me to pay money, just get back to your dashboard and there's an easy accessible link right at the top in the menu, just click this and everything you have access to is on this particular page. Now, I just wanna make one uh, point, one more thing out while we're here on this page. At the very bottom, every single person who purchases something on my site has this kind of upsell at the bottom. You already have access to all this stuff. So even though it has dollar amounts there, all of this stuff here is listed up, up here. So everything you need is, is uh, found under my courses right here and all these different cards. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is the alignment guides. So the alignment guides are at the top of the dashboard and these are uh, the guides they're kind of like your best friends for lesson planning. If you're uh, looking for materials under a particular standard or, or a topic, just open one of the guides, find your standard, and then follow the row to see everything available. So if I'm a Texas teacher, I'm going to click here. It's gonna open a PDF. I can print this out, or I can go along the side here. I'm gonna find standard 611A and find all of the lessons available for that particular um, particular standard. If I were to click one of these lessons, it would take me right to that particular section in the lab and um, you could download or print it from there. So alignment guides, that's a great place to get started, to look what, and it had lists everything on the site and um, you can get started from there. Now let's look at the organization of the courses. So a course is simply a bundle of activities or lessons or you know or resources. They're listed in alphabetical order. You can see they start with B, bell ringers, bell ringers, then it goes into body systems and so forth. Uh, once you click on one of these courses, you're gonna be taken inside to view all the individual resources. So I'm gonna click on this chemistry 5E lessons. So now it's gonna take me to all of the chemistry 5E lessons. And on the left-hand side, you're going to see the navigation. So I can scroll to any one of the topics here. Uh, let's go to like counting atoms and elements. And it's gonna pull up all of the different files that are associated with this particular 5e lesson, starting at uh, some word wall cards, and, and I'm, I'm not gonna go through each of these different lessons, but it's gonna give you access to all of these things. And when you, uh, you know, pull up each of these files, it's going to pull up in the preview window over here. Now let's talk about printing and downloading. The lab can be accessed from any internet connection. So if you have access to the internet, then you have access to this lab dashboard. Uh, I would highly suggest not really downloading anything until you actually need it. This is gonna allow you to, to always have the latest version of the product since uh, we change things on almost a daily basis. You wanna make sure that you have the correct links, that if there was a typo, it's been fixed. So I would personally not go through and download a bunch of stuff all at once unless you're gonna be using it in the next week or two. Um, and even then, you don't have to download if you don't want to. 
In fact, I, I would not do that. Instead, you can go up to the top right-hand corner and you can just print it directly from this particular preview page. It'll print out and you choose the printer you want it to go to and boom, you have um, the activity right there. Now, there may be um, times that, like for example, on the inquiry labs, uh, those are, have some editable versions. So you may want to download those, edit what you need, and then print it from your desktop or laptop. But my whole point is you don't need to go through and download all these things one by one by, you know, one by one. And, you know, because you're going to have out of date versions and it's just, it's just not time efficient <laughs> to be honest. So that gives you a, a kind of a good overview. If I'm going to go back to the dashboard here, I've got one more piece of advice for you. When you, when you first look at your dashboard, you're going to see at least at this time, there's like 41 or 42 different cards um, or courses that you can get a part of. Start slow. Don't try to do it all right now. Don't feel overwhelmed and then take no action at all. Instead, start with one thing. Maybe start with one 5e lesson or one station lab and then kind of expand your, your knowledge base from there. I'm going to be sending you a, a series of emails um, as a new member um, probably once every week, maybe once every few days that is going to slowly uh, ramp you up on all of these different product types and, and what's involved here. I'm going to talk about best practices for interactive notebooks. I'm going to talk about what a 5e lesson is and how to use the components. I'm going to talk about the inquiry labs and game boards and warmups. And I'm going to take that all in, a, in, a, in an approach that that makes it more easily digestible so that you have a better experience in the lab and that you can start building your um, your content knowledge with the way we do things here at Kessler Science. So if you have any questions at all, you can always reach out to me via email, chris at kesslerscience.com. Uh, but I think you're going to really enjoy the lab. And I, I, once again, I welcome you and um, I hope you have a great experience. Take care.